Hi, this is Amy Mott, and you're watching News from the Clever Patch. And today with me is Hank. I know. I admitted something very uh, disturbing to Tank today, so he's a little bit mad at me. But Chelsea's going to give him a crazy. Go ahead, Chelsea. Ooh, no, no. <laughs> I admitted to Tank that back in May of this year, I actually snuggled another Flemish giant besides him. And that Flemish giant was Hampton, who was the spokesbunny of Little Miracle's Rabbit Rescue. Hampton passed away on Saturday, and um, we're absolutely devastated over his loss. Um, yeah, Tank's mad at me, but I'm so glad I got to snuggle Hampton. He was a big, beautiful, furry, wonderful spokesbunny. Yes. And he spread his message of love and rabbit ownership to so many people um, during his short period of time on this earth. He was um, sweet. He was very gentle like Flemish giants are. Just absolutely a big, beautiful, gentle giant. And today our news from the Clover Patch uh, is an honor of that gorgeous boy. Um, very few rabbit rescues actually have Flemish giants as their spokesbunnies. Um, I know of just a few, uh, Little Miracles Rabbit Rescue in New Jersey, uh, us, uh, of course, uh, with Tank and Hef, which Hef will be wanting here with me one of these days soon. And um, um, Fred and Friends, uh, also in New Jersey, uh, their big beautiful Flemish Hope is their bunny mascot, along with Fred being their duck mascot. And then, of course, um, one of my absolute favorites, uh, Bear Fleming, uh, who has a very wonderful prayer circle on Facebook called Bear's Prayers. So um, having a Flemish giant um, working for your rescue, and these guys do work so hard, and they're so spoiled. Yes, they are. Um, it does really spread that message. You want another take of just love and um, the beauty of owning such a big, beautiful rabbit, uh, which most people, when they call us, I know they only want these tiny little uh, dwarf rabbits, which they're all beautiful and they're lovely. We love them. Um, but large rabbits are usually shunned. They think, oh, I can't have a big rabbit. It takes up too much space. And, and just, a, I mean, a laundry list of reasons why they cannot have a big rabbit. So um, having these large rabbits uh, as your spokes bunnies as well as your personal pets uh, can be one of the most rewarding things in the whole world. So um, if you do have the means to adopt uh, a very large bunny, uh, I promise you, you won't regret it. Uh, to have a large bunny in your life is absolutely wonderful. Isn't it, Tank? Yeah. So Tank is uh, very mad at me. <laughs> But uh, this message uh, to start this off is for my friend Christy and uh, Justin and uh, all their wonderful staff and volunteers at Little Miracles um, and um, I wanted you to be able to meet Tank live. So, hi. And um, so we're going to get on with news from the Clever Patch. We love you, Hampton. Tank, you want to go see Chelsea? Oh, I want y'all to see how big Tank is. Tank is 25 pounds of love. <laughs> there you go, baby. Okay, on with the news. This weekend, we are going to be attending the Celebrate Healthy Pets event, which is, oh, Tank, which is going to be at the Turnip Truck on Woodland Street in Nashville. And that event is from 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. And we invite everybody to please come out and visit us. Uh, you can visit Tank as well as Hef. Um, we might have a few of our other bunnies there, uh, just depending on the weather, how many volunteers we have. But it's going to be a great, great event. And that's the Celebrate Healthy Pets event at the Turnip Truck. And that's in, on Woodland Street in downtown Nashville. There's Chelsea behind me. Sitting in the window seat this morning is Beauty. Can you say hello? Can you say hello, darling? 
Beauty was just recently spayed. She is an absolute little angel girl. Um, just like the big large rabbits, <laughs> you know, you got to hold her ears up, just like the larger rabbits, black rabbits and white rabbits are hardly ever looked at. And that's a really sad circumstance because the color of their fur has nothing to do with their personalities. And I've seen uh, some of the meanest little rabbits that are just gorgeous. And some of the sweetest ones that are just in a plain black wrapper or a plain white wrapper. And they just get so overlooked, like little beauty here. Uh, as I said, she's just been spayed, and she is ready for adoption to her forever furry home. Isn't that right, darling? <laughs> Big ears, she's nervous, Chelsea says. I, I get nervous too, Beauty, every time I get on this video on Mondays. <laughs> well, today's Tuesday, so you can see I'm nervous. So, So anyway... This is Beauty, and she is up for adoption, and we just love her so much. So if you do want to make an adoption inquiry about Beauty, all you have to do is get in touch with uh, us by our website, which is uh, cleverpatchsanctuary.com, uh, or you can reach us by email, uh, which is cleverpatchsanctuary at gmail.com. Uh, you can also um, get in touch with our adoption counselor, Erin Hall. Uh, she is on Facebook and she's connected to the Clever Patch uh, page as, on Facebook as well. If um, you can't reach Erin, you can always reach Chelsea Bordelon uh, the same way. She's connected to the Clever Patch page on Facebook. So, uh, on with other events. Uh, we are going to be doing a few little events uh, in the month of September. Hi, beauty! <laughs> And uh, October is going to be very, very busy for us as well. We are going to uh, Midwest Bun Fest this year in October, which we're so excited. Uh, it's actually going to be the first time that Chelsea, Aaron, and I have all traveled together for an event. So we are looking forward to meeting our very dear friends that we've had the opportunity to talk to on Facebook for so long. And um, it's, it's going to be just a, a wonderful time, and we'll get to shop for bunny supplies and hopefully get some great ideas and buy lots of t-shirts because we love our bunny t-shirts. And uh, just visit and have fun with a lot of the people there. We, we just can't wait. So uh, on to other news. Uh, the Shelter Project, uh, we are planning, planning, planning. We ordered our dumpster. And we are cleaning out the garage, which is uh, phase one. And it's uh, unfortunately the nastiest phase, <laughs> but we're pulling, it's pretty nasty in it, Chelsea. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's unfortunately a very, it's a necessary phase. There's not a lot to clean out, but we are gonna do it. And we're gonna continue to make those sacrifices so our bunnies can have that wonderful, wonderful shelter. Um, we have done just a few little bits of planning. We've done some organization and we are starting to actually map out the placement of our habitats uh, in the uh, in-house shelter. So hi beauty. Y'all can see her behind me. Look how gorgeous. Hi darling. <laughs> and her ears are up. Yes. <laughs> So uh, if you do want to contribute to our shelter project, you can do that on our chip-in, which is on our website at um, adoptabunny.net or cleverpatchsanctuary.com. There is a chip-in link, as I said, but it's right on the front main page. And if it is uh, for our shelter project that you want to contribute for, just make a notation in your, in your payment so we can make sure that that payment goes directly to the shelter project. If you want to make a donation to us for the bunnies, uh, just notate that in your chip-in uh, receipt to us. So, uh, Also, we did finish our wish list on Amazon. So that's, you can find that link on our Facebook page. It's also on the, on the main page of our website. We do have a pretty extensive wish list because uh, we just started it. So as time goes on, uh, we're hoping to dwindle it down. Of course, we'll never dwindle down our major needs like food and um, toys for the bunnies, uh, litter boxes, which we do get new ones quite a bit. So anyway, what Chelsea? 
Uh, care fresh bedding. Chelsea just reminded me of that. Yeah, care fresh bedding is always essential. We do have guinea pigs at Clever Patch, and we use care fresh bedding, and we use a lot of it. So, anywho, this is Amy Mott, and I'm co director and uh, co founder of Clever Patch Sanctuary. I'm signing off for today, but I do want to remind you always and forever to make sure to keep on the bunny side of life. Say bye, beauty. Have a great day.